Hi, welcome back to Remote Learning with Mr. Mercaldo. So I made this video. I'm making this video for teachers who are, want to use Google Slides and to present their lessons on Google Classroom and want to get the Bitmojis included in there to make it more engaging and fun for students. So the first thing you would need to do is get the Bitmoji app on your toolbar, and you can just do a Google search to how to do that. And there's plenty of videos already made on YouTube. And if you already have a Bitmoji created in another place like Snapchat, then it will link the same one right into this toolbar. So you don't have to spend time creating an avatar if you already had made one. So once you get this installed, you can just click on the app once you're inside Google Slides. This is for my reading class, so I want to make a look at how I was reading. So I just typed in books and it helped me find a bunch of options that I recently found here. So here I am carrying the books. And then you just drag it and you drop it in. So you just draw you can drag and drop them in. Okay. So I already have one I like, so then I just make it I can change the size of it and I made it nice and big. So then you want to put a background in. And it's a really simple way to add a background. You click insert image and then you can search from the web. And you don't even need to leave Google Slides to do this. You can just click search from the web. Let's see pops back up here and I just typed in library background and you get a whole bunch of different things popped up and then I would I just dragged and dropped it in and once it was in I just reformatted it I cropped it a little bit you can crop um, using the crop button you can make it fit in the slide and then you want to once you have it you want to click arrange arrange and then order and then bring it to the back it's already in the suit if it's in the front it's going to block everything so arrange order and send it to the back and now it's behind everything for your background then when I wanted to add um, a little thought bubble here again I'm just going to insert image from web which is already open and I just typed in um, speech bubble the wrong speech bubble to eat speech bubble and then you might want to add transparent and these things just pop right up and you can drag them right into right into your Google slide okay that one didn't have any white and then if you, this one actually was a shape I added just insert um, actually this little thing right here says shape and then that's how I got this to appear and then I just changed the border of it and I put it then I added a text box on top of that and that's how I added a text box to here and that's just how I created this slide and it's, I think it's making the more interactive more engaging for the students and it's nice to have the emoji that looks like you their teacher talking to them and I did other examples with um I see I had got this template from another teacher who posted and shared and on a Google Classroom Facebook page and also this background was shared with me and I just made a copy of it and used it as my background and I was able to use a text box to change the word. 